appointment two of the week and this time it's not for teeth, it's not for anything medical, we're getting the tattoo. Okay, so yeah, I'll be back in a bit. So we are in, um, I'm getting my tattoo done at the place where, oh thank you, I came to see Sergio, right? Sergio? Sergio. Sergio is, brought me a pillow and everything. Yes. Hello. He is doing a cover up for me. Um, I kind of tried to hide my tattoos just because of the things I've been through, but now it's the first cover up that I'm getting done. Um, and yeah, this is where my fiance gets his tattoos done. And I have been through many a tattoo artist and they always end up like scarred and just like a mess. And like, I'll notice that when I come to get a tattoo from people, they'll do it and it's like whatever but then I'll recommend it to like a guy friend or whatever and then when they go to the exact same tattoo artist the tattoo comes out amazing I'm just like what <laughs> so here we are this is like tattoos number <laughs> uh, I don't know I've been getting this one since I was 18 but yeah time to get rid of the past and I'm kind of yeah I'm nervous and excited so here it goes so yeah the hanging What's going on? We're going for like this kind of watercolory type thing. We're going light, we're going dark one side, then light over to the other side, like over time, of course. Um, we're telling a story, a story of creation with one of my favorite creations of the Lord, which is the cherry blossom, and a few other things as well over time. But right now, we're doing this one. So, we're taking a bit of a break. This is where we're at, and I love those purples and blues. But yeah, I'm being told off slightly because I wanted to colour it, which means it's taking like double the time. So once this is done, I'm going to run away as fast as I can, and I'm going to change my name and my identity and fake my death. tell the story behind what, uh, what's being covered up um, but for now it's not quite the time um, maybe next year but I mean look at this I love it I love those colors um, a very big deal and a very big step to me so <sighs> lots of big things happening right now
Shining! <laughs> Laminate tattoos, all your 371 tattoo studio. See, now you're gonna be like Mr. Bin with a new watch. <laughs> Still get a little bit left there. Let's
Fuck. Basta. Sort it. All wrapped up. Don't entwist it. So we are done. Back in a nice cozy warm car and I need painkillers because my dentures have been rubbing and oh and then I ate like he ordered food which was really yummy but also had like like dry herbs in this like really tasty sauce stuff and I think it got under my dentures and definitely eating like actual chicken and not like processed chicken um was tough on my dentures and my gums so um pain meds are needed ASAP stat but I got it done and then I got put through a laminator see I'm laminated and um yeah pain meds, pain meds. Oh, they've been bothering me for like the last two hours and I only had time to take my tramadol which I need more for like my back and my hips and stuff especially because my hip was like subluxed and then like because he went out to talk to that woman who wanted like the piercings or something yeah, yeah. and then I like just had time to take them because one of my tramadols got stuck to my denture <laughs> because like I thought I'd swallowed it but when you've got a denture you have to use your tongue to see if things are like chewed or not and um, yeah. it was stuck to my denture so that took up extra time which meant I had less time to take these which means I've been sitting with ouchy dentures this entire time yeah. Oh. <sighs> yeah so we went an hour over and he didn't charge me for it so that's good because I didn't have any other money I had like £250 and that was it um, he's asking me when I want to book back in again. Yeah. So I'm like gonna aim for like end of November or yeah, something. Yeah, I think I'm saying that. Yeah. Right. Um, and he's. <laughs> I've not told him what my plans are for the tattoos. I'm yeah. just gonna let him figure it out as we go along because that's <laughs> amusing to me. And he's like, "Well, why don't we do an animal at the top of your arm, like a watercolor animal?" I was like, thinking like, "What animal? What animal?" And I was like. A lamb and a lion, of course, a lamb and a lion. And then I'm trying to like figure out how I'd want the lamb and the lion behind it and stuff. And I'm like, um, what about a lamb and a lion? He goes, a what? I said, a lamb and a lion behind it. And he says, can you say that again? I'm like, a lamb coming out of the top of this one and then a lion behind it. And he's like, I'm gonna need to look into that. <laughs> so I'm, I've got like this whole plan for like my entire like almost my entire body and it's all going to be like one big story that you'll only get if you get it and i'm only going to tell him what it is mm. on like at the very end mm. and see if he picked it up at all <laughs> because he he doesn't seem to know so far <laughs> mm. Oh, there it's there. This is the lid of my bottle. And it was saying in Jordan's car. Jordan has all these little fancy, twisty, flicky bits and stuff. And I literally thought this was one of them. <laughs> and I've been looking. I'm sitting looking for my bottle lid. Like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And it's right freaking there. <laughs> but yeah, this is... I've not used this bottle before. Um, I normally like, like the ones with the straws and stuff. But with my dentures, I can't really use them. They're hard to clean because... Um, I'm always drink, drinking, diluting juice and stuff. Um, but yeah, I got this with my vital vitamins because I've been with them for a good few months now. So that's why it's this bottle and not one of my clear ones. And yeah. Oh, my butt. Oh. <laughs> Who moved my seat? Was that you? It so was. Where's the bitty bit? Mm -hmm. Oh, there it's here. Oh! <laughs> and then this bit twists so you can 
Uh, he keeps moving my seat so he can clean his car. How selfish is that? <laughs> my seat might be his car. My seat, the way I find it, as comfortable as possible so far. And he's like, oh, I'll just move it and not put it back. <laughs> so I told him I'm going to get super glue and super glue it all in place. And I'm going to take away all the little screwy bits and levers and stuff and fill it all up with super glue so he can't ever change the seat. Because it's my seat. And also nobody else is allowed in it except for his dog, Teak. <laughs> and even that's a stretch. Oh, oh, that was so cold in there. And like, my feet were like cramping up in my shoes and it was this whole thing. And now I don't know where my vape went. And it was just this whole thing of like... I don't know what it is. I'm not used to wearing shoes because when I'm at home, I don't even wear socks because I hate the feeling of socks. Not only do I hate the feeling of socks, but I hate the feeling of shoes. And it's even worse. Like the bane of my existence is people who have carpets and then they walk about with socks on the carpets <laughs> or they'll have like shoes on the carpet. It's like, ah, oh, <laughs> like get cotton wool and like, ah. Like, why? Why would you do that? Get some nice hard flooring and then you can wear your socks. No, you can't actually. Don't wear socks inside. Socks inside and shoes. No, just keep your bare feet. Maybe wear some Crocs. I, I don't know. Just the socks and the shoes inside and socks in general. And mm, mm, I, I'm, I'm not a fan. And um, yeah, what was I talking about before the socks <laughs> and the shoes inside? You see? Yeah, the seat. Wait, what's it got to do with the seat? I'm lost. Um, but yeah, something about socks and shoes inside and the seat and um, teak and tattoos and it being cold. And feet, feet cramping, that's what it was. I'm not used to wearing socks and shoes because I'm always in the house and you can't wear socks and shoes in the house because it's icky. Well, it's not icky, but it's like sensory icky. So, um, yeah no socks and no shoes in the house and i've just had to wear socks and shoes for over six hours and my and i had like my feet because he let me lie in the lie on the the chair bed thingy that looks like a dentist chair but it's for sticking needles in your arm a bunch of thousand times for several hours and um my feet like my shoes started to feel so so tight and my feet started getting super cold and numb and like i wear adidas like, these aren't tight shoes. They are not tied tight. I can take them off. They're just... That. And, were, I was all uncomfy. And I was cold. And I was shivery. And I'm pretty sure he thought I was a big wuss because I was shivery. But I was only shivery because I was cold. Although he did say he was expecting me to whine and bitch about it the whole time because he was doing his full colour. And um, he was expecting me to be whiny and bitchy and shuffling all over the place and stuff. And he was surprised. That's us done. Now we're in a cosy car and we're going to go home. And I can't wait to get this off in five days time. And I don't know why I did this to myself because on Tuesday I got my dentures, I got four teeth pulled out. And then today I sat for like what, how many hours? From 10 till... Back at four. No, we're, bef we're beyond four, isn't it? I don't know. What time is it on your phone? His phone's died. <laughs> His phone's died. So, um... Yeah, it's like, because it was the back of four, like, I don't know, it's like five-ish, maybe, um, and yeah, so I've been sitting for like all those many, many hours that I don't know because I can't count and I can't do maths, and, um, why is that like that? That poster frame, it doesn't match up with the <laughs> wall, it's all, the wall comes down like this and the poster frame goes, sorry, um, but yeah. So I'm pretty sure he thinks I was shivering because I was in pain and some of it was pretty sore because like it went right up into the bend of my elbow and onto that bit there and yeah and I just it's nice to be in a nice cozy car and my denture still really hurts I'm gonna wait for that to kick in and I'm gonna like just try and settle down a bit because I've I've had to hold all my wiggles and stuff in for the last several hours because I couldn't jiggle my legs, I couldn't move around and all that stuff, and I couldn't do what I like 
all the things I normally do, like play Switch and whatever else. So now I've got like a bunch of like energy and I've probably got like adrenaline and all sorts of stuff from getting like a needle jabbed in my arm a couple of thousand times for the last few hours. And I'm in a nice cozy car getting all toasty and I just, I want a nap. I want a nap. A nice long cat nap. So I'm going to go.